Hey there. Never been here. Seems dangerous. All those mutants. I always wondered if they're contagious. What exactly are you planning, Lieutenant? Force seems the most appropriate, of course, but there's a lot of them. Even if it's not easy to understand them, maybe we should try to talk to them. What the hell are you doing? Get back to work. You're putting a lot of lives at risk. They will die beneath the eye of Father Son if they go up to repair the roof. The man knows this, but does not care about them. Maybe your 
you're too dumb to put it together. So let me spell it out for you, mutant. The roof needs to be fixed by your kind. Now. We don't care how many of you die doing it either. You don't want to go up and repair the roof? Fine. Your choice. We'll just send your children and your elderly. All those too weak to rebel with you. Then we'll execute you. They'll all die anyway, and without even doing any good. That what you want? The man would send our children. The man is... They will go back to work. Leave our children be. What does a man want? Just to talk to you. You need to go back to work. No, they will not. They will not die to go repair roofs broken by men. Men must find another way to fix it. Listen, I know it's dangerous work, and the odds are pretty high that some of you may die doing it. But if you don't, the whole city will suffer, and all of you in the pen will die. Not just a few. I know it's an enormous sacrifice to ask, but it's for the greater good. The man tells them lies, thinks they are stupid, but they know only men are beneath the hole in the roof. Only men will die for the destruction that other men did. They did not break it. Let the men fix what the men broke. What does a man want? Just to talk to you. No, they will not. They will not... I'm sorry, it wasn't a request. But you obviously need some convincing that this little revolt needs to stop. Get back to work, now! He... He is going back to work. He will do what you want. Please, do not hurt him anymore. Let's go. You can't just sit around while the city's exposed. Get they would, but their tools are... I'm not here for excuse. <laughs> <laughs> You had enough convincing? Ready to work again now? Yes. They will go back to...
What's the problem? Why aren't you working? Their kind work like one. If... Where's your herd? Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. What's the problem? Why aren't you working? They're kind of... Well, there'll be a lot more than... <laughs> Good. Just... Oh, great. You're back. What do you want? I managed to stop the rebellion. The mutants should resume work soon. Well, there's a bit of good news. Sure it wouldn't have ended so well without your help. I would have lost my job, so thank you. Oh, great.
You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Mutants are back to work, Captain. Well done, Lieutenant. Now go see Ryan and get paid. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now he's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying? According to the Colonel, the level of violence you're bringing is making it difficult for the mutants to accomplish their repair work. I know it sounds absurd to reason with them instead, but we need them, and your tactics are slowing our progress. I'm not there to be diplomatic, Captain. I'm there for a mission, which I accomplished, because the tough approach is all the mutants here. Maybe the fault's ours. Forgetting Technomancers aren't magicians. You can't work miracles, and if force produces results, Minor delays are better than the rebellion we were otherwise facing. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Wanna explain that? How do I explain something that's not? If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain, the only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything, or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. Thought I knew you, Lieutenant. Not so sh- And the list of accusations, and the details, is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Captain, I never lied to you. My only mistake was not taking your warning to heart. That we were being watched. And I believe you, Lieutenant. But we're in the situation we're in now. Unfortunately, he's already called you in, and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. The Colonel's waiting. Good luck. Hi. Lieutenant. Uh, Captain Aliza told me to come. Indeed, I've been expecting. 